Giselle is the perfect romance story. How are you capturing that essence of falling in love? With mime a lot. Perhaps you could just stop there for a second. You're just thinking, oh, I'm going to have a bit of a good time with her. But in fact, love, real love, is growing within you. But it's just how you feel. It will come over in your expression. And the way, every so often, that you walk a bit like this, pretending to be a, a peasant. That's almost one of the most important parts about how you use expression. Some people are very good at doing all the mind gestures, and there, are, there is a technique of how the hand has to be in the finger and all that. And then they will forget that the main thing is, that the audience will really understand, is the feeling behind it. So the expression, all the way through, from both of them, really tells the story more than the actual gestures. Before you swear, your expression is, dare I? You know you can't keep your premise. Very hard. So that moment from when Albrecht swears almost comes back to haunt us in the act as Giselle goes a bit mad. Oh, I love this moment. Whoa. I mean, I love everything about this ballet, but um, this moment is very special, for, I think, for every ballerina. And it's just, it's amazing how, especially in Peter's production, especially how he set everything to this point. You can really leave the journey and just suddenly you are in the moment and you just can't let yourself go. It's and let wonderful. your hair down. And let my hair down, which, wait a minute, my hairdresser will be very happy right now. <laughs> <laughs> the real journey that she goes on from that sort of innocent love story and it's actually so it, it could go and, more wrong. Yeah, and naive, and then suddenly... She's had this terrible shock, and she doesn't really know where she is. And she looks out from behind her hair, and she thinks, where am I? Where am I? Something awful's happened. He was true to me and was going to marry me. She remembers the daisy, that she was using this. It was a game to find if someone was true. And it wasn't true. And then she can't bear it. And then he sees her. She sees him. And he rather repulses her, now that she knows. And there's the sword. She gets the sword, and the sword takes charge. She runs around, and then suddenly the sword is chasing her. She's fascinated, and she runs, and she stabs herself, and someone pulls it away. And then she laughs. I mean, that is a proper transformation, isn't it? Thank you so much, guys. Really powerful stuff, and amazing insight into just how it all works here. And I can't wait to see what happens in Act 2.